in this tutorial we will create this object in isometric to switch to isometric click here in this object at first we will create this base circles now these base circles are on horizontal plane or top plane we can change the plane by clicking on this arrow and choose isoplane top so your plane will become horizontal then we will create this circle of 42 diameter that is 21 radius to create isometric circle click here and choose axis end option then select iso circle give the center point give the radius of 21 enter then zoom all z enter a enter zoom minus then shift this xy ucs icon give the ucs icon command enter choose no region option then this other circle of radius 32 that is 64 diameter is at a gap of 100 we will create one line from the center of this make ortho on give the direction give the distance of 100 enter enter then again create one iso circle here of 32 radius choose this axis end option select iso circle give the center point give the radius of 32 enter then we need to create tangent lines here for that choose the line command press shift right click and choose tangent then take your cursor near the circle now actually we need this tangent somewhere here but it is showing here we will choose this point and create one tangent make ortho off again shift right click and tangent and click here press enter now this is not the correct tangent again we will give the line command shift right click tangent and choose somewhere here again shift right click tangent give other point here enter then we will erase the internal line give e enter erase this line then zoom fit same way on this side give the line command shift right click tangent now it is showing point somewhere here suppose we will try ok this point shift right click tangent here enter now this point is also not correct again again give the line command shift right click tangent then take this upper point then shift right click tangent click on this circle enter erase this internal line e enter enter now this bottom shape is ready then here is the thickness is 12 we will copy this shape at the gap of 12 give the copy command copy select the object enter give the base point make ortho on now it is going horizontal we want to go vertical for that you will have to choose the isoplane from here i will choose isoplane right go up give the height of 12 enter enter then connect lines here give the line command connect from quadrant of this to the quadrant of this enter again enter from quadrant of this to quadrant of this enter then we don't want internal portion we can trim the unwanted portion for that give the trim command press enter then remove the unwanted portion enter and erase the remaining object e enter and erase it then here also trim t r enter enter and remove this enter zoom fit here also tr enter enter and remove this zoom fit. the next will be this circle will be at the height of 24 that is from this point it will be at the height of 12 and here this circle will be at the height of 24 that is 36 minus 12 again copy these two circles above copy select this circle enter give the base point give the direction give the gap of 12 enter enter again enter select this circle enter give the base point give the direction give the height of 24 enter enter and again create vertical lines quadrant to quadrant from this quadrant to this quadrant enter again enter from this quadrant to this end point enter again on these sides 
enter from this quadrant to this quadrant enter then again remove the unwanted portion trim it give the tr enter enter and trim the unwanted portion so that it will show our desired shape now here also one quadrant to quadrant line is needed then erase this create one quadrant to quadrant line line from this quadrant to this quadrant enter trim it tr enter enter and remove the unwanted portion then this arc is also not needed we can trim it now tr enter enter and trim it and this is also not needed tr enter enter remove it enter the next will be this rib now this rib is starting from this point to this point now we will have to locate this point by creating one line from the center of this circle take the line command give the center point and track it if at your end it is not tracking in angle then for that you will have to make some settings click here on polar tracking arrow and select this tracking setting you will have to tick here track using all polar angle settings and here you will have to give the increment angle of 30 then only it will track in inclined direction as per our requirement then choose this point create one line enter same way we will create one line here enter track the center point take this point take the line outside enter now here one inclined line is needed enter from this point to this point enter now thickness of this rib is 12 we will copy this line on either side copy select this line enter give the first point now we want to go there but it is not going in that direction that means we will have to change the isoplane from here we will take the left isoplane isoplane left give the direction give the distance of 6 again give direction on this side give the distance of 6 enter then extend these lines for that click here and choose extend then press enter and click on the lines to extend enter then create vertical lines here give the line command l enter take end point create a vertical line enter then we will need one horizontal line again give the line command from this intersection point change the plane we will need the top plane then draw it here enter then trim the unwanted portion again tr enter enter and remove the unwanted portion then same way here And erase this R E enter erase this. Now this rib is also ready. Then this circle, internal circle of 24 diameter, that is 12 radius. Choose the axis end, click on ISO circle, give the center point, give the radius of 12, enter. And on this side, it is 36, that is 18 radius. Axis end. ISO circle give the center point give the radius of 18 enter then here keyway is shown of 12 by 4 size for that we will copy this line by 6 on either side copy select this line enter give the base point give the direction give the distance of 6 enter on that side also 6 enter then from this point we will have to create a line of 4 length Take the line command, take this intersection, give the direction, give the length of 4, enter. Take it inside and click there, enter. Then trim the unwanted portion, tr, enter, enter, then remove the unwanted portion. And erase these end lines. Then vertical line is needed here. Take the line command, give the first point, change the plane to right. Go inside, drag the end point, 
and click there enter then we will have to create the center lines for that we will create one center layer click on layer properties click on new layer make it center and give the color suppose i want yellow okay then line type load click inside press c okay select center okay close it select this line and choose the center layer and escape then you will ts enter make it for you they are properly visible then here horizontal line will required on top plane click here and choose the isoplane top take the line command drag the center point and create horizontal lines enter make the center layer current take the line command drag the center point and click the points enter the nice property this center line with this line enter thanks for watching we will stop here